Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am a third year foundation pay student. So yesterday I posted a post on Instagram and it kind of got a lot of attention and I've got so many DMs and so many comments and questions about how I made it. So I'm going to show you. Um, I made this during practical when we were doing the math theme one more and one less um, and this was really a hit with the kids so I'm just going to take you through the mechanics of it all I know everyone kind of wanted a tutorial but um, at the moment I don't see myself making another one so I just thought it is easy enough to just show you the mechanics of it all and then hopefully you can make your own one so if we look at this as a whole, um, all it is is a piece of cardboard in this shape. You can obviously choose whichever shape you'd like. Um, and then the next thing that I did after I'd cut out the shape is I made these little numbers. So all the numbers are is um, it's got a popsicle stick that you can get at Crazy Store or PNA. And then I just cut out, um, I think I probably used like a bowl or something that I found in the kitchen. Um, to cut these round circles out and then I just wrote in marker all the numbers from 1 to 10 and I'll tell you why all of these numbers are so close together in at the end um, <laughs> so that's all these things are so once I cut that out I made sure that this round circle was exactly the same size as my numbers so that you can see them perfectly and then i just obviously added this little question mark as a decoration and i added a magnet because my whiteboard marker has a magnet um it's magnetic so you can stick it on there and store it i've also then added these white pieces all they are is paper and then on top of the paper what I did was, I'm not sure if you know, um, when you bind something, there is a front cover. Um, that front cover is perfect for using a whiteboard marker on. So all I did was stick the front cover on with a little bit of tape, as you can see. And then that made for a perfect little whiteboard moment. Um, what you can also do is uh, laminate your circles. You can laminate these as well. You can laminate them, that works just as well. Um, so I've just stuck those on and then I made little arrows meaning one less and one more from five. So it would be four and six. Um, so that's just the front. Now we talk about the mechanics of it all. If I turn it around, you'll see that I have a big piece of cardboard, but that doesn't peer over here. So you kind of got to cut it in such a way that it that it doesn't show in the front. OK, so as you can see, it's just a round piece. You can make this however big or however small you want it. The measurements are all going to differ. And this is all just as you can see by this white piece of paper, it's all just recycled material. Um, then on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see properly, there are two little circles in there. And the reason for that is to make sure that there is a space between the actual spinner and this piece of cardboard. Reason being that um, you don't want it to be flat against this main piece because then the numbers might not spin properly they could get stuck like that um, so and it just adds a nice little bit of stability for the spinner itself i used a skewer stick so what you would do is you just poke a hole through all four pieces of cardboard um, and then you take a skewer stick as long or as short as you want it depending on how far back you want your spinner to be and all I've done is taken a milk carton lid or um, you can use whatever lid or button or whatever you'd like and then all I did was I put some hot glue in the middle of this put the skewer stick on stuck the skewer stick through all of these pieces and then put a little bit on the end here um, also just adding a bit more stability making sure that it can't then slip back through um, towards me so I can't pull it out like this it's stuck in there so it almost um, acts as a plug um, and then it also just adds a little bit more stability um, and then I said I would let you or I would tell you all why these are so close together when they weren't is it got damaged in the car so I had to 
glue them back on together so this is just a really really fun and easy activity to do in the beginning or the end of a lesson when teaching one more one less or more and less because you don't just do one you can change it up and if it lands on the number five you can say what's well, two less than five or what's well, two more than five um, yeah, this is suitable for grade one. I use it in my grade one practical um, And yeah, I'm excited to let you see all the other stuff that I made for practical as well um, Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I Really really appreciate it and thank you for 400 subscribers I actually can't believe it whenever I think of 400 people in a room. I'm like my brain can't even comprehend that so I just want to say thank you so much and if you haven't already please do like and subscribe it helps my channel out um, and I love sharing these ideas with you guys so comment down below what you'd like to see next I'll see you all in the next video bye